A huge number of people who are subscribed to my channel have subscribed because you've watched and clearly enjoyed my video about making flashcards in Notion. Now I've realised it's been a while since I've made a video about Notion and I thought it would only be fair to you guys for me to make one and update you on what I'm doing with Notion currently. We're going to start off just by diving straight into my Notion dashboard. It's probably been a little bit updated since the last time I showed anyone this. I've added a few new things. I've got this nice little border up the top, which is a custom one that I made in Canva. If you want to make your own custom one in Canva, the best aspect ratio for it is 1500 by 300 pixels. So 1500 pixels wide, 300 pixels tall. You can customize your color, choose some cool images or I don't know, an inspirational quote or something to put on there. I do definitely want to be making a few more of these for my other pages. Then I've just got it arranged into these columns. We've got three columns, two rows. The two things that I use this most for are for my uni work. A lot of my notes now happen in Notion and for content. A lot of my planning, a lot of my thinking around YouTube, around Instagram, which I will be more active on this year, I promise, and around Twitter and LinkedIn all happen through Notion. I am a little bit of a scatterbrain sometimes and sometimes I have thoughts about things and then forget that I ever had those thoughts. And so I do like to jot them down in Notion just so that I remember those things. You might notice down the bottom here as well is pretty much the only third party widget I'm currently using in Notion. It's one that I really love and it is a tracker of your life. There is another bar. I've got these four bars here showing how far through the year we are, how far through the month, how far through this week, and how far through the day we are. It's currently Wednesday and it is quarter past three in the afternoon. So we are about 63% of the way through this day and we are 38% of our way through this week. There are two other bars that you can add at the bottom here. There's a quarterly one, which I don't ever think in quarters. That's not something that I do, so that doesn't make any sense for me to use. And there's another one which is life and that's just really depressing to be honest it asks you to estimate how long you're going to live for and then you put in your birthday and it tells you how far through your life you are now i'm 25 i imagine you know hopefully with modern medicine and the way things are going i might live to 95 which puts me at more than a quarter of the way through my life which is really depressing to be honest so i got rid of it i don't have a quarterly bar i don't have a yearly bar and that means that it really nicely fits in that space at the bottom of my dashboard currently i have to try and not add more than four rows to any of the other things you've all seen the flashcards i'm not going to spend the time going over the flashcards or showing you more about that if you do want to watch that then you can check out this video up here instead i'm going to show you how i tend to make my notes and this other little one down here the thing that I'm using Notion for the most currently has got to be my note taking and my just trying to organise my thoughts and organise my studying around the immense quantity of stuff I need to know for my finals coming up. The next block I'm about to start is my GP block. That's the one I've been working on today and I've just made this. So this is going to be how I'm planning on organising my thoughts, organising my notes for my GP block which is just about to start on Monday next week and what I've done is I've gone away and I've found from my university a list of every single presenting complaint I'm supposed to understand, a list of all of the skills that I should spend my time focusing on this time and a list of all of the conditions that I should have a good understanding around that are to do with the GP block. I've only just set this up today so I haven't done anything more than just list them but that is a good first step. And now I can go through and I can start populating these. Luckily, a lot of these things are things that I've already had experience with, are things that I already know a lot about. For example, the first five under the list of conditions are things which I've done on previous blocks. So I'm probably just going to backlink into those other notes that I've already made somewhere else. Or I could even just write down a quick summary. I can use that as a kind of active recall exercise for myself to try and jot down as much as I can remember about those things now and then put in a little backlink and I think that's probably what I'm going to do having said that. Similarly I was really lax this block that I've just finished and I didn't take many notes at all about the things I should have been covering. Now the reason for this was because it's an acute block I was focusing on getting experience dealing with patients with the conditions rather than 
learning about the conditions themselves. Most of them are things that I've already learned about at some other point, but I realised that this is turning into a YouTube video about my medicine career rather than a YouTube video about Notion. So let's get back to it. Note taking, that is the first thing that I'm currently using Notion for and I'm using it to organise all of my thoughts in that way. The next thing that I'm using Notion for is to plan all of my YouTube videos. I am a bit weird sometimes in that I like to have everything electronic except for when I'm trying to kind of brainstorm, in which case I like to use paper. So I tend to use paper to come up with ideas and then when I've chosen an idea which I think is good, an idea which I feel like I can do in the time frame that I need to do it in, then I import that over into my Notion dashboard here for YouTube. This has got some several areas. It's got a timeline for things I need to get done, a timeline for the videos that I'm planning on posting and when. Then I've got these four different sections here, videos that need to be scripted. I like to script a little bit, a bit of a kind of brainstorm, some of bullet points about what I want to talk about in a video. I've got videos that then are finished scripting and need to be filmed. When I've filmed those videos, I tick those off and they automatically move themselves into the videos that need editing. And when I've edited a video, I'll tick the little box here and it goes into ready to post. And then that automatically pops itself into these posted videos. And then if I wanted to, I could have a look at all of those videos that I've posted previously. Note taking and planning my YouTube content. Those are two of the most common things I'm doing when I'm in Notion. For any of you who aren't already subscribed, my name is Connor Divlin. I'm a medical student studying at King's College London. And I like to make YouTube videos about productivity, self-help and medical school. If any of those things are of interest to you, please make sure to subscribe and let me know below if you've been using Notion or maybe Notion's completely updated. Maybe I am just a productivity app dinosaur and there is a better app I should be using. Please let me know. And the last thing is something which I need to be doing a little bit more of. It's using Notion as a second brain. And the person that I've seen who does this the best probably is Elizabeth Phillips and I'm going to put a link to her YouTube video all about how she uses Notion as a second brain because it, it's far better than anything I've ever managed to do I have to be honest but I have stolen a little bit or borrowed a little bit of her ideas about how she does that and created this thing here which is going to be an inbox for all of the things that I see and I'm going to use this somewhat similar to how Ali Abdal uses his resonance calendar um, I don't really like that name. I don't think I'm interesting enough to have a resonance calendar. Instead, this is just going to be all of the things that I see that I like and it's all just going to end up in here. You know, we've got all of the important things. We've got medical textbooks, medical papers, we've got anecdotes that maybe I've got from my own life that I want to talk about at some point, quotes and of course the all important memes. Things are going to go into my inbox, they're going to end up in this new, then when I've organised them a little bit, they're then going to populate my filing cabinet. Now this filing cabinet, again, I borrowed this idea from Elizabeth's video. It's a fantastic video, you should check it out. But once I have imported those things into my notes, I'm going to, you know, at the end of the day, maybe the end of the week, have a little look at those and review them and think, how are these interesting things that I've seen throughout my life going to be organised? How am I going to implement them? What's worthwhile in having seen these? And so I'm going to end up tagging them as a source for all of these particular different things. This is just a start, this is just what I'm planning on using this for. It might shrink, it might grow, but in the next few weeks you're going to be seeing that and it's exciting because then you get to come along and see how I'm using my Notion. This was a really quick whistle stop tour of my Notion dashboard and what I'm currently using it for. It's a little bit of an update and I'm going to be trying to keep you more updated as I expand what I'm using this for. If you did want to check out that video about making flashcards in Notion, check out this video just here, which will explain that whole process.